Okay, now when we talk about metrics, we're gonna first start off here on our home screen. On the left-hand side, there's a, an option right here that says metrics, and that's how we get to our metrics homepage. Uh, the homepage itself is gonna give you several options when you first uh, come to this page. Uh, some, some typical uh, examples would be education sample or sales sample, or pretty much you know, things you would potentially create um, that kind of give you a, a starter. Um, for this example, though, I'm going to take you through a blank, uh, blank scorecard, and we'll start off from the beginning. Uh, but before we go into it, I just want to explain. So for metrics, it really allows your team to you know, create and elevate specific KPIs that may be of interest to your business. Uh, it allows for high, higher visibility for your teams and your business users, and it's kind of like a one-stop shop for, your, uh, for the metrics that are inter uh, that are interesting to your business and that are important to your, to your business. Um, so to get to this screen, I'll also mention, you do need a pro license to create any kind of scorecards or metrics. And then to view, you either need a pro license or to be on a premium capacity. So when we first start off here, let's go ahead and hit new scorecard on the top right. And this is gonna take you to your first blank scorecard. We'll call this metrics scorecard test or example. Okay. There's a few different types of metrics we can create. So first off, let's start off with hard-coded example. So this is where my name is. Um, if I want to create any additional owners, I can add them here. And then here under current and current value and final target is where I set up the different types of values. Um, so I'll get to manual and submetrics in just a second, but let's start off by saying our current value is 150 and our target is 250. Um, our status, there's several different options. Uh, let's go ahead and set up some rules for these. So let's say if the value is greater than, uh, let's say 80, uh, 80%. Let me get, actually, let me go ahead and save this rule for uh, this metric first, and then we'll set up the rule. So our start date is November 8th. Let's move that back. Let's say we started this on October 8th, and then our due date is one month from now, December 8th. Go ahead and hit save. Okay, now you can see our first metric. Um, now let's go ahead and edit this metric and I'll go back into the status and we'll set up rules. So we'll say if the value is greater than 80% of the target, then we'll change the status to on track. Otherwise, let's say it's behind schedule. Go ahead and hit save and X out of this. And you can see here on the bottom right, actually a good example of this. Um, Teams has an integration straight from metrics, and you can see that that metric was directly added to my teams. Um, so let's go ahead and save this. And you can see we are behind schedule now. And the reason why is because the value is not greater than 80% of, uh, of the target, which would be 200. So we're, we're behind schedule right now, technically. Okay, so now for the next example, I'm gonna take you through um, how you can actually connect data to your reports and then you know show where you're at with that. So let's go ahead and hit new and we'll do a new metric. We'll call this um, connected to data example. So some of the same options, you know, if you want your owners as well to be different. And then this is where you actually connect to the data itself. So we'll say our current value, let's use connect to data. And this will be any other data sets that you know are shared with you or in your apps or reports, that kind of thing. Let's use AdventureWorks Lab. This is a report that's just showing sales for AdventureWorks data. So let's just say our, uh, our value is reseller units. It's gonna ask you which measure you wanna use, what the current value is, and then any other filters affecting it. We'll hit connect. So our current value is 104,000. Let's say we're trying to reach 200,000. And again, we started last month and we're going for until one month from now. Go ahead and hit save. Okay, so now we've got uh, two different metrics here. Um, next up, let's see how we can get this progress bar to actually uh, show up and how you can get it to you know, feature previous data and kind of show you your trends. So I'm gonna go back to the hard-coded example for this one. If we hit this icon here on the left that says notes, there's a few different options here. You can do details, history, status rules, and time period. On the bottom of details, you can actually check in your data if you want. So let's do a new check-in. Let's say yesterday, actually, let's say one week ago, we were at 120 instead of 150. And we'll go ahead and hit save. I X out of this now. 
now I can see our progress. So one week ago, we were at 120. Now we're at 150, but we are still behind schedule. Um, a few other things that we can do um, in this note section, you can see history. So any other previous check-ins, this is our uh, original check-in and then you know previous check-ins. Uh, status rules, this is what I created with the 80% greater than 80% of the target. And then time period as well, if you want to show in that progress bar, you know, a specific time period or anything like that, you can affect, uh, you can make that change here. Okay, so now we've got two metrics here. Uh, last piece I want to show you is how you can actually create a cascading scorecard with submetrics. So let's go ahead and use the hard-coded example again one more time. And let's do new, oops, sorry, let's go ahead and hit more options and do new submetric. So we'll call this submetric one. The way this works is if you have you know, specific KPIs that make up your total level KPI, you can actually have this total level just kind of be a measure based off of your uh, submetrics. So let's say this one is 75 and our target is 100. And then go ahead and hit save. And let's create a second submetric here. Let's say our target is, our value is 75 as well. And this time we're trying to hit um, 100. Oops, sorry, I had 100 before. So let's make that 150. Okay. So now we've got these specific submetrics that are underneath this hard coded example. Let's actually update this to no longer be hard coded and say, let's take the sum of these two. That way, as this submetric one and submetric change, the hard coded example will change with it. So we'll hit the pencil and edit this. We'll change this from manual to use submetrics. So we're gonna take the sum in this case. There's a few other options, average, maximum, minimum, but for this example, let's use the sum and go ahead and hit save. So now what's happening is this 150 out of 250 is no longer just hard coded. The 150 is comprised of 75 plus 75 and the 250 is comprised of 100 plus 150. So as these change, this hard-coded example will dynamically change with you. Um, a few other uh, things to point out here on the top, if you wanted to you know, filter to specific uh, metrics or submetrics, you could do that there. You can also filter by your status. So if you wanted to see just things on track, just things behind schedule, you know, just things overdue, that kind of thing, you can actually set that up there as well. Um, so, yeah, and like I said, this is integrated fully into Teams. So as I create things, they actually pop up in Teams as we go. Um, so as you can see, this could be a really useful addition to your organization as you want to you know, keep track of KPIs, keep track of metrics, and just kind of have a better overall understanding of um, how your company's data works. Um, this is kind of part of a broader, uh, broader outreach to have more self-service analytics within Power BI. Um, there's a few other ways you can do this within Power BI Service. One of them is a cool new feature called Power BI Data Marts, a great new self-service feature. If you want more information on that video, we've actually got a previous video, which we'll put the link in right here. Uh, so thank you everyone very much for listening.